Well, the circus is jargon for the, the secret intelligence service. It gets its name from Cambridge Circus, where it operates out of. When I started trying to make a parallel universe, I thought Cambridge Circus was an amusing spot. In my day in the secret world, SIS inhabited whole suites of, of dusky little rooms, and Control, i.e. the chief of the secret service, lived halfway up a little crooked staircase. Generally speaking, the ethic is the higher you go, the more secret you get. The strong boys, the hard boys, the people that go out, the people who work in the field. It's kind of like a pyramid, too, in which control is right at the top. And then he has the top five, is uh, Adeline, Astrohouse, Hayden, Bland, and Smiley, of course. The rules of the, of the floors and whose territory is, belongs to whom is established, then if you're on the wrong floor, maybe you're up to no good. I think the very, very bright people picked from early on, from school days, they are already noticed, it's like the firing office in the same way. Yeah. Being buttoned up, not giving too much away, doing what you're told, not complaining, that if uh, a close friend of yours was shot down, you just never really mentioned him again. I get a very strong feeling of people giving up their lives, marrying an idea. I don't know exactly what kind of people that were drawn into that world. At the lift of a telephone, you give some information that you know is going to involve the death of one of your comrades. Hello, Ricky. Who do you trust? If you can't trust people around you, Everybody has their own agenda. I know something you don't know. That is interesting. <laughs>